G'day everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craft by Tim. Today I'm gonna do do that. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be starting a project halfway through of a project. So this is a knife that I've been working on at the Blacksmithing Association of Western Australia. They have a lot of tools that I don't have access to. They have real anvils, and I actually got to use the biggest anvil that they have there. Uh, I'm not very good at judging weight of anvils, but this thing is huge. Definitely a nice upgrade to uh, the railroad track. The other thing that they have there is really good forges, but their forges are way better than my forge when I first started this, because I didn't have the new forge finished, and now that it is finished, Hopefully I can use this forge and maybe make something even better than this one. All of this forge welding was done by hand, by the way. Even though they had a power hammer and a, and a forging press, I am the original power hammer. I don't need any of that. I can do everything perfectly fine myself. Nick Manet. They'll also be well and truly willing to just sort of lean over your shoulder and be like, there's better ways of doing that. The Damascus that we have here is made up of about 400 layers. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about this because I'm really excited about this pattern and just super, super excited to see how this will turn out. All of the talking out of the way, let's get to grinding this. We're gonna start off with a nine inch angle grinder with a grinding disc and then a two by 48 inch belt grinder. Try me, bitch. Let me introduce you to the new and improved bevel grinding jig. So where the last one only had four different points that I could have points of contact, this one's got 50. The amount of variation that you can have with this new bevel jig, it's insane. It took me way too long to drill all of these holes and tap them. Just wanted to jump in here and just be like hey guys i love to listen to music no matter really what i'm doing i always like to have some kind of beat in the background really good for forging because it gives you a beat to swing to anyway it may not do anything but it makes me feel better so in the description you'll find a few of the songs that i have in my playlist but i was hoping that maybe some of you would like to share some of your playlist in the comment section. Don't worry, we don't judge. Hell, you might even be able to go through the comment section and find some music that you never knew existed and might become your new favorite artist. So I'll leave a few new songs that I've added to my playlist. If you do have any suggestions, leave your comments down below. Thanks.
This is pretty well ready to go into the etch. However, my etching tank, I believe I mentioned was, I'll have to go double check, is actually only 18 centimeters. The portion that I'm going to be etching is 19 centimeters long. First of all, I'm gonna go out and get a brand new uh, container for ferric chloride, and I'm also going to go buy a new bottle of ferric chloride. What? It wants me to clamp it for five minutes. Oh, clamp in position for at least 30 seconds and then let it dry for five minutes. Right. I was mistaken, I'm sorry. In a previous episode, I said that my quench tank was probably the worst thing in the world to sit on. I'm mistaken, it's that. That is the worst thing. Once again, no one's surprised, but I lost some footage. Basically, I decided to scrap that little piece of wood, and I was like, eh, this isn't working out. So instead, what I'm going for is two different type of timber handle, but gluing them together so that it's one piece of timber that I actually work with. Hey Tim, what you doing? Oh, well, I was working on that tiny little piece of copper and it got caught in the grinder. So now I gotta find it in this bucket of water. But it's not just water because this bucket has been sitting underneath the grinder for so long. It's full of swaft in the bottom, which makes it very hard to find very little things. So I gotta sort through all of this to try and find this tiny little piece of copper. How does this even happen? Ah, gross. Hey look, a piece of metal. Found it, yes, ha. Ah. I suppose I should not stop here and just clean out the rest of this. And that's my tiny little piece of copper. It's not all of it, but it's most of it. That's gross. Disgusting!
Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this episode. The lines within these like high concentration portions, they're so fine that you can barely actually see them and, and you can't see them well enough with this camera. I am so, so thrilled with how this ended up turning out. Originally, I wanted this to be a chef's knife, but there is a few proportions of this particular blade that doesn't actually make it a chef's knife. For instance, you have the width. It's just not quite wide enough. It's just not quite long enough. I think it's six and a half inches or seven inches. Let's throw up some specs here. Just not quite long enough. And the handle itself is just a little bit too short. I am gonna be uh, saying that this is a carving knife instead. Really suits as a carving knife. And of course, a carving knife has to go with a carving fork. So there will be a carving fork coming up in the not too distant future. I started this before I left Victoria. I think it was like four weeks before I left Victoria and then the last week when I actually left uh, was when you saw me start this video. This, this was a lot of fun and I'm very 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 excited to see how the fork turns out. You may have noticed that I, I've injured myself. This one was injured on the lathe. You know what that means? That means that there's a new lathe video coming out very shortly. So I am going to be using the metalwork lathe again. I hope to see you guys in that episode. So make sure that you subscribe so you get notified when that video comes out. But in the meantime, remember to stay safe, happy crafting, and as always, cheers.